Here on CBS Sports HQ, presented by Jersey Mike's, the Browns are releasing wide receiver Jarvis Landry. They traded for Amari Cooper, a deal that won't become official until Wednesday. And today they cut Jarvis Landry. At noon Eastern time today, all veteran free agents uh, began the ability to negotiate with other teams. So this is a, a big day in the NFL. Let's bring in our NFL insider, Jonathan Jones, J.J. Jarvis Landry, uh, coming off his worst statistical year as a pro. He'll turn 30 next season. Uh, what kind of teams do you think will be interested in him moving forward? Well, I think you look around and the Chiefs should be interested in him. I think teams that are uh, ready to win right now rather than teams that are out there looking for wide receivers who are hoping to sort of, um, you know, like the Jacksonville Jaguars, for example. I don't think that Jarvis Landry is really going to entertain something like that. So I would look at the Chiefs, potentially the Ravens. Perhaps I think that you're going to hear the Ravens being in on a number of wide receivers just like you did last year. But this is a situation where um, Jarvis Landry and his representation went to the Browns requesting a trade. It was never likely that they were going to be able to trade him with his cap hit around $15 million. And so he was either going to take a pay cut or he was going to be released. Jarvis Landry very clearly did not want to take a pay cut there in Cleveland, despite what they may be building there with Amari Cooper and potentially a new quarterback. And so uh, he is now on his way out of town. 52 catches, 570 yards, two touchdowns last season for the Browns. Uh, still decent numbers, but nowhere near what we are used to seeing from Jarvis Landry, who is being released by the Cleveland Browns. Elsewhere in the division, the champs, the Bengals, uh, they've got to protect Joe Burrow, and they are doing just that. They went out, and they're going to sign former Bucks offensive guard Alex Kappa. What does that do for the protection of their franchise? Well, very clearly they had targeted Alex Kappa uh, here during uh, before free agency began because it was a deal that was agreed to about one minute into the legal tampering window. Uh, they knew Duke Tobin, director of player personnel there, very well knew that they had to uh, enhance the offensive line. They will continue to be aggressive in free agency with the offensive line. I do not at all believe this will be the last move the Bengals make up front, but it is certainly the biggest move. And uh, one player that's out there, maybe one of the top offensive linemen, Brandon Scherf. I have not heard much about him. Uh, I had one agent question whether he had potentially priced himself out of the market, but Alex Kappa coming in at a four-year, $40 million deal, obviously averaging $10 million per year, leaves the Bengals with plenty of room to still target another offensive lineman in this first wave of free agency. Meantime, the Miami Dolphins have been pretty active here early on in free agency. Uh, they're they're going to sign Chase Edmonds as the running back, but maybe more importantly, they're bringing back defensive end Emmanuel Ogba, a four-year, $65 million deal. Yeah, this was the deal that they really wanted to get done before free agency began. They knew that they were going to tag Mike Gusecki. That's what they did. And now they have locked up Emmanuel Agba with uh, that four-year deal that we can report. And this was important to them because, well, you have to affect the passer in today's NFL. He has been extremely good at that for the Miami Dolphins. And so Mike McDaniel, the head coach there, Chris Greer, the longtime general manager, they both understand that this is a guy they needed to keep in the fold I was never convinced that he was actually going to hit the open market. They could have been working on it, and frankly, the Miami Dolphins have a whole lot of money this offseason to make it work and make it work they did. That's Jonathan Jones, our NFL insider, with us on the day that veteran free agents become available to negotiate with other teams. Thank you so much, JJ. Uh, to stay current on everything in the NFL long form, it's the Pick 6 podcast. It's Will Brinson and Company, the daily NFL fix, uh, and, the, and one of the latest episodes, an emergency pod, which is uh, one of the things they do best, on Tom Brady unretiring. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.